Well, this is the Scheme of Work template for the year 2011-12 for those people that want to use it. Um, don't forget that you need to make a copy. Right click and copy and paste for each module that you teach because you'll need one of these folders for each of your subjects. Don't leave it like this with the word copy on the bottom. Right click again and rename it. So you might want to call it, for example, here. <clears throat> you might want to call this one marketing if you teach marketing don't call it marketing if you don't teach marketing and you have as many of these folders as you need and want okay so that's the basic folder and now your next job and probably the most complex uh, operation of, of any in this process is to go to your old scheme of work the whole folder for marketing say and copy that old folder anywhere into this folder and that will mean that all your old resources can be cannibalized and copied dead easy into the new template. Let's have a look inside the uh, folder here. Come on. Now, don't panic. Uh, most of this is absolutely irrelevant to what you will be doing. So there's a load of stuff here. The most important folder you need to know about is this one here, your scheme of work resources. Any new resources that you create need to be put into this folder. That is images, documents, slideshows. And you can open it up. You can make a new folder. You can call it whatever it is you like, anything. It's your folder. Uh, and then put everything for this year's scheme of work that's new into that folder there. About the only other thing you need to know is the homepage access to the scheme of work. And that's right down here, and that's called SAR 2011-12. And if I click that now, it would open up the scheme of work in Internet Explorer or whichever browser you're using. However, you wouldn't be able to edit your scheme of work or copy stuff in or change things. In order to do that, you need to open something called front page. And uh, I'll just close front page because I had it open, if you bear with me. Sorry about that, I'll just close that window. Sorry, so as I was saying, there is the one that we want to open, but we need to first of all go Start and Programs. If you don't have front page showing, it'll be in Microsoft Office. Uh, and if it's not, then you don't have it, I'm afraid. But um, there is front page. So I'll open front page, and now from there, I can simply go up here, just off your screen, File, and <coughs> Open. And I browse for that little thing that we just looked at. And it's in here. I think it was in here. And then we go right along to the end, remember, and find this one. And we open it. And there's our scheme of work for 2011-12. Slightly different, as you can see. OK, there's nothing in it. And I'll talk about all these other external links in a moment. But the first thing you need to do is to put your own assignments and your own module outcomes or handbooks on these buttons here. To do that, remember, right click on the button, go Button Properties, and then browse for the uh, assignment, the document uh, for your assignment number one. And of course, you should have put that in Scheme of Work Resources. Open them up, find your assignment, and you are done. Uh, the um, same thing for assignment two, obviously, and for your unit and module outcomes. Don't forget, in front page, you can only make changes to your scheme of work when you're in this design mode here. Preview button shows you what the scheme of work will look like when people open it in a browser. And sometimes, in order for links to work, you need to go to just off your screen here, File, and then Preview in Browser, and choose usually the top one. And that will take you to um, the actual uh, Internet Explorer browser, so you can see how your site actually physically looks to the people who are viewing it, in this case, your students and yourself.